Trying to be positive. Yes, you can, you know, we can all will it surely to get better, or maybe not. No. We can't. Okay, <laughs> but here's the thing if you are looking for some excitement over the next few weeks, you might want to look to the skies for another reason. Mm, NASA has warned that the sun is due to turn itself upside down. Don't be worried. Apparently, it's all going to be fine. We're also expecting the arrival of a blazing new comet. There's so much happening in the sky. So Lots let's happening. find out exactly what all this means. Professor Tim O'Brien is an astrophysicist at the University of Manchester's Jodrell Bank Observatory. Good to have you with us. I've been very excited about this. <laughs> because when I heard that the sun was flipping, yes. I think like most people, I'd have thought, my goodness, what does that mean <laughs> for us? It's huge. It's a huge thing. Is it actually turning upside down? What's happening? That would be dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a bit of a, yeah, the headline is probably a little bit uh, uh, incorrect there. What it, what it means actually is the magnetic field of the sun is turning upside down, so not the whole body of the sun itself. Um, I've got a little demo actually with me to, okay. uh, to okay. try Go and for it. Go explain, for it. explain this. this. So, so that's you, the sun? So, so yeah, so this is, if you imagine this is the region around the sun. And if you've ever done these experiments at school with, with iron filings and a piece of paper and a magnet, mm. So what, what's in there? Is it so iron filings? Little magnetic particles floating about like a, like a snow cube. Right. And they're all random at the moment as I'm shaking them about. Right. And if I just hold that still and then drop the magnetic field in, oh. what you should mm. see is all those filings all lined gathering. up along Keep them. Wow. So they gather at the north and the south and they can see, hopefully you can see curved lines that are extending from the, the north to the south around the, around okay. the uh, magnet there. But so, a magnet hasn't been dropped into the sun, obviously. So, so the sun is magnetic, so the sun right. has a magnetic field like that yeah. um, and at a quiet point in its cycle, um, that's how, exactly how the magnetic field appears and we can see that when we when we see a solar eclipse when the moon goes in the way mm -hmm. We see the outer atmosphere of the Sun with these magnetic field lines in it But every 11 years the Sun goes through this cycle of, of, of activity You get many more sunspots this magnetic field gets sort of wound up and it actually gets very uh, Broken up and distorted so you get bits of loops of magnetic field sticking out of the Sun everywhere and gradually what happens is sort of south magnetic field effectively migrates towards the north, north mag migrates towards the south, and it cancels it out and flips it all around. So you end up with the north and south flipped entirely the other way around. What impact is this going to have on us here on Earth? Well, what it does is it has, when all that's happening, all this energy from this magnetic field causes uh, flares, um, coronal mass ejections where particles are shot out from the sun, and when they reach the Earth, they can have beautiful effects like the one there. That's an aurora, the northern lights, or the mm. southern lights. So we get the very, very nice effects, but we can get negative effects, which are when um, spacecraft basically can have the electronics destroyed because of the change of magnetic fields, the electrical uh. currents. So we have to be a little bit careful. Is that likely, that do you are. think? It can happen. I mean, we're at this sort of peak in this cycle now. Um, so this, this, this flip that's going to happen, one, one pole's already flipped. Um, so at the moment, the sun's got two south poles. This is uh, so and the other one's about to, to flip. It's so mm. difficult to imagine, though, isn't mm. it? Two, two south, south poles. And also, um, it's hap it can happen on Earth. Our it poles does, can change. It does happen on Earth. Not, not with, as frequently. With the sun, it happens very regularly and very frequently. We, with, the, with the Earth, we know from looking at rocks that the magnetic field has been changing perhaps every... Between about 100,000 years and a million years, it does swap rounds. So the north and south poles flip over, and we can see that recorded in, in, the, in the rocks. Quick word as well about this comet that we're expecting to see. Yeah, Comet Ison. It's, uh, it's, it's quite, quite exciting, actually. I mean, it's, got, it's been predicted that it's going to be very bright. Um, it's, about, it's just past the Earth. It's heading around the other side of the sun now. Um, when it pops out from the other side of the sun, it may well be incredibly bright and be very visible to the naked eye. We're, we're not sure. It just got brighter in the last few days. We're not quite sure what it's going to be like later in December when it comes out. So December's when to look for it? You can just about see it now, with the, just with the naked eye, but it's hopefully going to get brighter in December. Lots going on up there. Good stuff. Thanks very <laughs> right. much. Thanks very much for joining okay. us, and thanks for the explanation right. as well. Thank you. Now, joining us.